How's it going everyone? So I hope everyone's winter's been good. It's finally spring out here in the Northwest and just an amazing time to get out and go fish for your local trout species. So today I'm out here on one of my favorite cutthroat streams and uh, got some nice weather in the forecast. Hoping to find some rising fish. We're getting so close to that squala season. So I'm gonna be spending about a day and a half out here fishing. Might have a buddy meet up with me on the uh, second day. But uh, yeah, got some great weather in the forecast and I'm excited to get down to the river. So we'll go see what's happening. All right, so got down to the first hole and I've already seen a bunch of fish rising, which is really awesome. Um, I was sitting there just watching this like 15 inch cutthroat cruise around eating nymphs. He didn't ever actually rise, but it was still super cool. But I saw what I think were a few squalas buzzing around. I, I don't believe they're caddis. So, I think, actually I have a little Nomura in my fly box right now too. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think there might be a few squalas poking around and with the amount of fish rising, um, I'm kind of feeling bold and I might go tie on a big bug, uh, run a dry dropper. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Seeing rising fish already has me super stoked. All right, here we go. All right, where that fish rose. There we go, on the dry fly. <laughs> First cast. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> Pop down to the dropper. I don't know, another fish pounced on the squala pattern, but there's a fish on the I don't know if it's the same fish that ate both or what. <laughs> First cutthroat of the trip. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Thought he ate the dry fly. I think there was two fish that actually ate it. One that ate the, the dry fly and uh, one that ate the nymph, but let this pretty little guy go back in the water.
There we go, big cutthroat. Came up and ate the squala. Oh wow, that's a nice one. There he goes, woo, nice. Came up in the fast riffles, just came up and boiled on it. Nice, got him, wow. That is a tanker, oh my goodness. Woo, <laughs> let's go. You know, just an absolute privilege to be able to handle fish like this. So cool, such amazing creatures. All right, fun little uh, evening session to cap off today. Ran into some really good dry fly fishing, which I honestly wasn't really expecting just because it's still pretty early in the year for squalas, but uh, uh, they're hitting the big foam bugs up on top. So it's getting dark out here. I'm gonna go pack up, go find a good place to camp. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit warmer, so hopefully a little bit more bug activity. I don't know, I'll be here during prime time. So a uh, good way to start the trip so far, and I'm excited for tomorrow. All right, I woke up this morning to some cold weather, but some absolutely beautiful conditions. I mean, it's just so pretty out here. Um, ended up driving up the river a little ways to an area that's actually a little deeper in the canyon and uh, a bit colder. Doesn't get as much sun, but uh, you know, it's such a pretty area. I really wanted to get up and explore it, even if the fishing isn't as great. So I got a few good pools kind of hanging out down here to the side. So I'm gonna go walk down there and uh, give those a shot, I think.
screamer time. Dude, it's on fire! <laughs> Pretty little buck. Gorgeous fish. There we go. <laughs> That's it. On fire. So yeah, that about does it for me. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. It was an awesome day and a half of fishing. Uh, got some more warm weather on the horizon. I'm hoping to get out soon and uh, hopefully the dry fly fishing will be a little bit more in full gear. But uh, yeah, it's such a blast to be out here, especially at this time of year. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Hope you guys have a good day.